is going on guys we are back today for another video hope you guys are having a great day today i know i am the coronavirus is taking over our lives seriously we were watching a movie last night called the end of the world and when jay asked me if i wanted to watch it and i said looked at him and was like i think we're watching the end of the world right now like <laughs> kiddingly but literally I'm supposed to go pick up my horses in a couple in like a month but i'm kind of scared that we're not going to be able to get them for a while just because i think this coronavirus is going to shut the world down for a while honestly kind of scared but hopefully it'll all work out got some cool to show you guys today the ducks are down at the pond they've been down there um but on the little duck house brought them some food down there it's pretty cool another cool thing that i did since i last filmed is i set up our electric fence all the way around half of it and it goes up the middle right there i could i should have done it a little bit different over there because it's kind of it should have went right by the ditch but that half over there on the other side is all for hay i'm thinking about splitting it down the middle over here but i think the way it works right now should work for a little bit while hey guys how's it going got water got some food got an egg for us thanks guys they're doing good producing eggs it took them a couple of days almost a week for them to start making eggs in there once we moved them over there it's probably just getting used to something new i guess so yeah in here is my fence charger set it up last night it's all working and everything so i have a funny story about setting this up so there's um insulated wire not the regular fence wire that comes into the barn if i had a little time i had to search some stuff up on youtube about how to do that and stuff because i'd never done any wiring before so i had to look up how to strip wire and stuff like that and i did that and it still wouldn't work i got a fence charger i tested it for like 48 hours i was trying to figure this out how to work um and then i realized i had rubber boots on and that's why i went when i went to try to shock myself it would not work so <laughs> i felt like an idiot after that but yeah it works and yeah you can hear it ticking if you listen really closely yeah it works other than that we got like i don't know six five gallon buckets because that's what i'm gonna do water in for a while for the horses and i think that'll work um got some grain buckets right here and right there and yeah, these are pretty clean. I, I could probably wash them out a little bit better, but I think it'll work for now. These aren't the most conventional stalls since you have to go through one stall to get to the other, but it'll work. Um, might do something different eventually, but I think we'll see how it works for the summer and for the rest of the winter here. And yeah, I think it'll, I think it'll work pretty well. Get out of the road. You can't lay in the road. Get out. No, dogs don't lay in the road. No, they don't. I got a gate right here, right up across from the barn right here. I don't know, maybe eventually, because these are not not the most convenient to open. So maybe eventually I will put like an actual gate, put some like wooden fence posts in right here and put like a, like a cattle gate right here or something. I don't know. See the fence runs along right there and there are a couple gates along the field, so we can get to that side pretty easy, but yeah. So yeah, pretty much everything is really ready for the horses. I'm just hoping we can, are still able to go down and get them and hopefully the coronavirus doesn't shut everything down no I, I wasn't really worried about it that much until like i don't know like last week when the nba started shutting down it was like all in one night and it's like bam this is here and it's real like i wasn't too worried about it but like people are freaking out about it like <laughs> like fighting over toilet paper come on but these ducks down here don't have to worry about the coronavirus they're free in their own country you're fast yeah oh it's penny penny and minnie it's your pond froze again you can see him over there i was gonna bring him back up before it froze again but i can't get them <laughs> literally i can't here in the dam i put their house i'm gonna see if they've ever been in there i don't think they've actually figured out it's actually there so i'm gonna see if they ate their food oh yeah they did Good ducks. Oh, is he stuck in there? Yeah. Yeah, he's frozen in there. Okay. This is not good, guys. He's injured. I think I'm probably going to have to take these two back up to the house. I brought him down here hoping they'd be okay. And that one was limping. He has a wound right there. I mean, I don't think... I think it might have been when Nico was chasing him the other day I have a video I don't think I have a video anymore but he was chasing them around the pond trying to bite them for like an hour 
but yeah. See right there, you can see he has a little wound under his wing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna take... He's bleeding, yeah. I'm gonna take these two back up to the house and care for them. Uh, I think someone, something got after this one right here. Little blood under his feathers and... Yeah, I'm just gonna leave him up here. He's having trouble walking, limping. I don't think it's too big of a deal, but... I'm just gonna leave him up here for a little while till it gets a little bit warmer. I just feel bad for him. Are you kidding me? God, it looks like he just murdered somebody. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that till now. Shit. I <laughs> took blood all over me. Oh my gosh. I Something got after it or something. I should have been a little more cautious when I put them down there, but I was like, oh, they'll be fine. They're not fine, so. We're, I'm just gonna leave them up here. Put them back down there eventually. Or not, I don't even know. So what I think would happen is, there's ice in there and they've been hitting it with their wings to try to break it, so I think that's probably what happened. I don't think anything got after him. I didn't show it on camera because it's kind of graphic, but looking at it, he didn't get bit by anything. It's just, it's just a little, like, scrape into his skin just because I think he was hitting it on the ice. Which the other one's fine, so yeah. I don't know. Got the blood all off. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I walked inside and I told my mom I got shot and she's like, what? And I'm like, no, no. And she didn't believe me anyway, so it really wasn't like that. Okay, guys, it is the next day now. Literally, it was 50 degrees yesterday. 50 degrees. We were outside laying in the grass, having a grand old time. It is... It snowed last night, literally. What the heck? This, this climate change is insane. There is, and tomorrow it's gonna be 60 degrees and raining. Like, there's no way it should go from like 60 degrees to like, I don't know, I think it was like, got down like, I don't know, 20 degrees last night to 60 degrees. That's just crazy. Yeah, but besides it snowing last night, I got some pretty good news for you guys and really me too. Um, So, I, I, I didn't mention in this video, even though I was going around the barn showing you guys the fence and stuff like that, but I told you in my last video that we we're getting two horses, two standard breads, gildings, which are male horses, and yeah, it's, I'm like super excited about it, and I was hoping we could be able to go get them, so yeah, Saturday, two days from now, we're gonna go pick them up, they're down in Connecticut, so it's about two hours down the interstate, so it's not too bad, and yeah, we're going to pick them up, I'm super excited, <sighs> so yeah, stay tuned for that in tomorrow's video, guys, um, yeah, literally, I've had horse brain for the past two, three weeks since I, since we went and got and looked at these horses. I didn't film that, but I'm going to film us going down to look at them. Man, I'm so excited. Hopefully, the coronavirus didn't shut down the interstates before <laughs> Saturday. They can shut it down after Saturday. I don't care. But just let me get them, and then you can shut the world down. I don't know how long this video has been, because I've just been filming and showing guys the barn and stuff like that. But Aiden and Ethan are home for two weeks. Well, it's actually three weeks. Yeah, boy. And they've been doing school. I'm glad I did my school earlier in the week because the internet's been so slow because my dad's working from home, my mom's working from home. They're on the computers working, doing school. So the internet sucks. But for my room, I can connect to my neighbor Jay's internet. So it kind of works a little faster when there's not everybody on there, which I don't know because I think they have the same internet as us, but whatever. <laughs> You're weird. It's my penis. Miney. Miney. Hi, Mike. Hi, Tiny. Hi, Tiny puppy. Again. Hi, Tiny. You're the smallest doggy in the universe. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go outside and film, and do something, but it's snowing, and I don't really want to go outside. I'm just kind of having a lazy day, not doing very much. But we're gonna start having some cool videos with this horse stuff. I um, mean, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys, like, cause. I've been working with horses for a long time, but I've never had my own horses, so yeah, I want to bring you guys along on the journey. That is going to be pretty awesome. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, yeah, the next video will probably come out on Sunday when we go pick up the two horses. I'm super excited, and yeah, I guess I'll see you then. See you in the next one. Peace out.